Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I'm going to give you a solution to that annoying bug that's been bothering all of us since the theme builder came out. I'm going to show you how to fix that hidden drop down menu and the hidden mobile menu in the Divi theme builder using the menu module. Let's take a look at my solution. All right, so I'm going to be showing you a solution to a really annoying problem here. Um, lately with the theme builder, ever since the theme builder came out, I have had issues with the menu on mobile and the drop down menu on desktop. And we're still having issues and I've talked to everyone at Elegant Themes and yeah, they're working on a solution. Um, a couple of tricks you can do in the meantime to solve that. I know, um, here, I'll just show you like right there. It's just not showing. Um, you couldn't see anything. Nothing's opening up. In fact, sometimes when you're on a uh, desktop here, the when you have a drop down menu here like this, it literally won't show. It'll go behind the page content. And so I'm going to show you here in the theme builder. I'm going to go in here and just show you the header that I have in the layout. It's a really basic layout, but I'm going to show you that and I'm going to show you also how to fix that. It's it's actually really easy. You can do it right within Divi. Now I do want to say a couple people in the groups, I mean, I keep seeing this question come up countless times ever since October when the theme builder was released and everyone's like, well, adjust your Z index. Well, that doesn't work. It's funny because people say that thinking, you know, that maybe they don't realize a couple people said, yeah, you got to play around with the Z index and then it will work. Like even if you change it and reset it back to default, it'll work. And I tried that. Um, I've tried everything. I've I've always you know been contacting support on like every single site. Finally, I decided to figure this out, and this is what's happening. So this is my layout. I have a section here. I have an image, some text, and a menu module. And so you know, obviously, I have a drop down, things like that. The simple solution to get it to show is to go into your row. All right, so not the column, not the section, not the menu module. Go into the row, settings, go to the advanced tab, and there's two things that we need to adjust here. The first one is in visibility, the horizontal overflow and the vertical overflow. Set those to visible, both of them. They both need to be on visible. All right, so in visibility, the horizontal overflow and the vertical overflow set to visible. Now I'm going down to position and this may be correct by default. Sometimes it's not position default needs to be on relative. Okay. So position relative, save that and all your problems go away. All right. So we're going to refresh here and then show you um, how the mobile menu appears. And again, you may be having problems with it not showing here. So right now, like three minutes ago, <laughs> this was not showing. But of course, now that I'm recording, you know, this drop down menu was behind the page content. Of course, like I said, now that I'm recording, it's working. Um, but if that's happening, it's because I've been playing with the settings so much today um, on and off, on and off. OK, so here you can see the drop down works. All right. And that solved it. We've been doing a lot of menu tutorials lately and we have a lot more to come. And just let me know what kind of menu tutorials you want to see here and we'll hopefully get to them. All right, so if you found that solution helpful, be sure to share it and be sure to copy that link anytime someone has that question in any of the Facebook groups. And hopefully before too long, um, the news gets around and that's how you do it. All right, so we'll see you in our next video.